So this video goes with the quadratics video which taught you how to factorise into two brackets uh, and this video is going to teach you how to do that when there is a number at the front. So in the last video everything only had 1x squared at the front, this time we're going to look at what happens when there's a number at the front. Now um, basically I think one of the tricky things about multiplying out quadratic, uh, factorising quadratics like this is there's no easy way to say to you do this and it all just happens. It's, there's a little bit of judgement and a little bit of trial and error that you'll have to use as you go along. Uh, so I'm going to give you one way to do it. There are other ways to do it on the that are available so you might choose to google it and find something a slightly different way of doing it. They all add an element of having to make some decisions and to try some things and find the ones that work. So if you think back to what we did last time, this number at the end here comes from what happens when I multiply these two numbers together. Okay, and this one at the beginning here, that comes from what happens when I multiply these two things together. Now the tricky bit this time is that this 5 in the middle here comes from a combination of the things at the beginning and the end. And if there's a number at the front, that makes it a little bit trickier. So how are we going to do this? Well, a little like we did last time, I'm going to firstly start by making a list of everything I can think of that multiplies to give me positive 2. In fact, actually, what I'm going to do is just do it with... Um, without the signs and I'll put the signs in at the end. Okay, so I think two times one gives me two. And then I need to think at the beginning here of everything I can think of that multiplies to give me three x squared. Well, the only thing I can think of is three x and x. Sometimes there'll be more than one choice here. Okay, so sometimes you'll have several different options and you'll just have to try them and work out which one works. So if there's only one option, I'm gonna put the three x in one bracket and an x in the other bracket. And now what I need to do is a little bit of trial and error with this 2 and this 1 to find something that makes 5. Now you'll be looking at the 2 and 1 and thinking well they don't make 5 and that's because when I multiply out this 3x gets multiplied by this thing at this end and this x gets multiplied by the thing at this end. So the 5 comes from a combination of this times this plus this times this. And to work out where to put the two and where to put the one, usually it's just a case of trial and error. So I'm gonna try, and notice I've got a pencil here and a rubber to hand ready for if I've got it wrong, putting the two there and a one here. And then I'm gonna see what I've got, see whether it's possible that that might make five, and then if not, I'll try swapping everything around. So everything's positive, so they're all gonna be positive signs. There's no negatives in this at all. So this bit here would give me 3x times 2, that would give me 6x, and this bit here will give me 1 times x, which is x. So I've got a 6x and a 1x, and I want to combine them to make 5x, but I need positive signs in everything, because all of these things are positive, so there's no minus signs in this. So I don't think there's any way I can combine a 6 and a 1 to make a 5 if everything's positive. So that tells me that that's probably the wrong way around. So I'll start again and swap the two and the one. And have a look at what I've got this time. So this time I've got three x and two x. Well, that looks better because if I had plus two x plus three x, I think that would add up to five. And so I have got five x in the middle there. Okay, let's try another one. Again, I've made this a relatively easy one. I haven't got many choices. Three x squared has to have come from a three x and an x and two has to have come from a two and a one. And again, all of these are plus signs and therefore everything's gonna be positive. So start again. Three X and X was my only choice. So I'm gonna write those in confidently. And then which way round? Well, last time I put them that way round and that made five. So probably I want them the other way round this time and put them this way around. Remember, this bit goes with this bit. 3x times 2 gives me 6, and x times 1 gives me 1x, and so I think that's going to add up to 7x. Let's do another one. Now, a little bit harder this time. 4x squared, well, that might have come from 4x and x, or it might have come from 2x 
times 2x and I don't know which one so I can't just confidently write in the first bit this time I'm going to need to decide which one works and now let's look at the minus 5 well I'm going to just look at the 5 for a minute 5 times 1 are my options there and this minus sign here tells me that one of them must be positive and one of them must be negative. Okay, so one's so because they multiplied to give me minus five. So I need one positive one and one negative one. But again, I don't know which way round. So let's have a go, see what happens. So I'm going to start with the I notice I've reached my pencil already. I'm going to start with the four x and the x. I'm going to remember that this four x gets multiplied by this one, and this x gets multiplied by this one. And I'm just going to try putting in the 5 and the 1 and see whether there's any chance I might make 19. So I'm going to put a 5 in here and a 1 in here. Uh, that 5 x, five times x makes 5x. 1 times 4x makes 4x. There's no way I can make 19 if I've got 5x and 4x. So that's definitely not going to work. So I'll switch it round. Let's try the 1 and the 5 this way round. Now let's see what I've got. Can you see that on the screen? The pencil's reacting really badly. Okay, so 1 times x makes 1x. 5 times 4x makes 20x. Now that looks a bit more promising because I'm trying to make minus 19. And remember at the beginning I said I needed one of them to be positive and one to be negative. So if I want to make minus 19, I could make this one minus 20x and this one plus 1x and that would give me the minus 19 that I wanted. Now I was lucky, I picked this one and I tried this one a couple of ways round and I found one that worked. If neither of ways round had worked then I'd have had to move on to the 2x and try it again with the 2x in both brackets. So sometimes you're lucky, you pick the right one first of all, sometimes you work all the way through all the options and then you realise that it must be the other one. So. Let's move on to this one. So this one's even harder. So I can have a 5 and a 3 or a 1 and a 15 here. And to make 4y squared, same as before, I can have 4y and y or 2y times 2y. And I don't know which one, so I'm just going to have to try them. Now let's think about signs. This plus sign meant that the two numbers multiplied together to give me positive 15. So I either need them both to be positive or I need them both to be negative. Okay, can't have one of each because then they, that wouldn't be a plus sign there. Now I look at the one in the middle. Well, it's going to have to add up to minus 16. So I'm going to get rid of the two plus signs. I'm going to need two minus signs. So again, I'm going to start at the top. Let's try 4y and y. And then let's try, remember this bit's going to get multiplied by this bit and this bit by this bit. So I'm going to try the 5 and the 3. Remember I'm aiming for negative 16. So 5 and 3. This bit will give me 12y. This bit will give me 5y. It's never going to give me minus 16. So I'll try switching them round. So put the 3 here and the 5 here. This gives me 20y. This gives me 3y. Again, no chance of making minus 15. So that rules out the 4y and the y. And let's try again with the 2y and the 2y. Okay, so when I tried, I, oh, it didn't rule it out. I haven't tried the 1 and the 15, so it hasn't ruled it out entirely. I'll come back to that if I need to. So now I'm trying it with 2y and 2y, and I've, I've stuck with the 3 and 5, so I'm working through all the options with 3 and 5. This makes 6y, this makes 10y, that's good news because I'm trying to make minus 16, and we said that both signs needed to be negative. So I'm going to put two minus signs in there, and that gives me negative 6y, negative 10y. And it really is, I really am just going through trialling each set of options until I find the one that worked. So I tried the 5 and the 3 with the 4y and the y, and that didn't work at all. So then I tried it with the 2y and the 2y. Now if that hadn't worked at all, then I'd have gone back to my 4y and y, tried it with the 1 and 15, and then back to the 2y and 2y, tried it with the 5 and 3. And notice I have to try it both ways around for each set of numbers. So it is a little bit tedious until you get good at it. And the only way to get good at it is to practice lots and lots. 
So here's another one. <clears throat> Need to multiply to give me positive 4. So I'm going with 4 and 1, 2 and 2. And it's positive, so I either need a plus sign and a plus sign, or a minus sign and a minus sign. This is positive, so that rules out the idea that I might have two minuses. I'm going with two plus signs. Let's look at the 6x squared. I might need 6x and x, or I might need 3x and 2x. So, just give it a go. Start with 6x and x. Start with 4 and 1. Put 4 and 1. Remember that one with that one this one with this one, and I'm aiming for positive 11. Well, this gives me 4x, this gives me 6x, it's not going to make 11x. So I'll turn it round. 1 and 4. This gives me x, this gives me 24x, no chance of 11x, so that's not going to work. So now I'll try it with the 2 and the 2. That gives me 12x, that gives me 2, it's not going to make 11, and no point in switching it around because they're the same. So that gets rid of that entirely because I've tried that with all of these options and it didn't work at all, so I know it's not that. So hopefully when I try 3x and 2x, I will find a pair that works. 3x and 2x. Let's try 4 and 1. That makes 3 that makes 8. 3 plus 8 is 11, and we said at the beginning everything was going to be plus signs. So that's good news. I found the option that works. And if it hadn't worked, I just keep going till I find the option that works. One of them will. Last one. 8t squared. So I could have 8t and t, 4t and 2t, and I could have uh, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. They need to multiply to make negative 12, so one of them will need to be positive and one will need to be negative. Now there are a lot of options here and it could take me quite a long time to go through them and I really do just need to have a go and go through them. Uh, often, it's worth bearing in mind that often the questions they set are more likely to be 4t and 2t than like a huge number and a single t. So I'm going to just take a punt and start with the 4t and 2t, but it might be wrong. I might need to go through everything till I find the set that work. Okay, so I've put in 4t and 2t. They, that might be the wrong option. I might have to go back and try these eventually. And now I'm going to work my way through this list and see if I can make something that combines to make negative 29. Remember, one of them is going to be positive, one's going to be negative. So let's try the 1 and the 12. Well, that's going to give me 48t and 2t. Never going to make minus 29. So swap them around, 12 and 1. That's given me 24 and 4. Again, no chance of making 29, so I'll get rid of those and try 2 and 6. 40, 20, 40. It's not going to make 29. Switch it round. Can't remember which way round I had it now. I think that's the other way round. 12t. 80. Still not going to make minus 29. So let's try 3 and 4. And if that doesn't work, then we'll move back to the 8t and the 1t. 3, 4. 16 and 6. It's not going to make minus 29. 12 and 8. Also not going to make minus 29. So uh, unlucky. I've chosen wrong. I'll try again. And actually, because it's getting quite a lot of rubbing out there. I'll try it this way around. So this time, so I tried everything with 4t and 2t and I couldn't make minus 29. So now I'm going to try 8t and 1t. Okay, so let's try 1 and 12. 1 and 12. Not a chance. Look, 8 times 12 is 72 and that makes 1. That's not going to work. Switch it around. 12 and 1. Oh, that makes 12t, 8t. Still not going to make 29. So I'll keep going. And try 2 and 6. Uh, 48, 2. It's not going to make 29. 16 and 6. Not going to make 29. Let's hope. Oh, right at the end, look. Tried everything. Let's try this one. 3 and 4. Uh, 8 times 4 is 32. And that makes 3. So I reckon I could make it 29 because 32 
and 3. Now I want to make minus 29, so one of them needs to be negative and one needs to be positive. So I'm going to go with minus 32t plus 3t makes minus 29t. So as you can see, sometimes you pick wrong and you just have to go through lots and lots of options. As you practice it, you'll get faster at selecting through and ch checking which ones work. And as you practice, you may be able to do some of this process in your head and not have to write it all down. But it really is a case of just churning through, practicing lots and lots and lots. So over to you, your turn, time to practice.